All right, the time has come again for another mail call no, Thursday. Boy. My favorite part of the week. We we missed um, sort, of. sort of. Yeah, sort of. What's your other favorite part of the week? Uh, I don't know, man. New comic book day. I like that. Yeah, that, that that's that's acceptable. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. But uh, we are here to answer your questions. And uh, before we start, if you just found us on the internet randomly, we are the Podcasting Dead. Uh, Name pending. That might be changing here in a bit. But we talk about The Walking Dead amongst a lot of other stuff, which also exciting announcement. Oh, boy. We've got a new podcast starting this coming Tuesday. It's going to be called, uh, we're working on the name at the moment, but it's basically Current Events Tuesday. Tuesday. We're going to go over everything happening that we can find as of Tuesday. Not every little thing, but we'll have some top stories for you. And it's not so much a news. like we. I don't think either one of us cares to be a newscaster. It's no. just more like, um, for instance, maybe Science Now says having sex 19 times a day is the secret to a law. Like, whatever is published, you know, just Has interesting stuff. Has it got to be stuff. sex with another person 19 times a day? I mean, what else would you be having sex with? Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Inquiring minds. You know? For the legality and yeah. your freedom, I don't want to take that any further. Okay. Um, but no, like we'll be talking about like the like dumb criminal news stories that have come out that day. Just fun. But we're doing more fun news. We're going to talk about things that are current. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can be a part of that as well. Hit the little bell beside it so you get notifications when we post new videos. And also with The Walking Dead going on every Monday, we talk about uh, the prior night's episode. Um but yeah, so that'll be up. And apologies for the random rambling Wednesdays being. We really, I, I wish we, if we made money off of this, we could pay someone to have our content published on time. Really, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Or if anyone's interested in a uh, internship with the podcasting, did head us up. Yeah, there you go, an internship. Yeah. We'll send you the audio files, and all you have to do is slap a picture or two over them. Now, down the road, if we ever started being able to make a career out of this, we could do way better production as far as timely we're trying to put out a lot of content right now but the problem with putting out a lot of content is that, that takes up more time and time that we don't have to sit down and edit it mm-hmm. with full-time jobs some of us with two full-time jobs so but yeah that's on the way that'll start next tuesday we're very excited about it by the time you're hearing this the random rambling wednesdays should have been posted this morning from yesterday again sorry about that being late um, but to uh, but today we are answering your questions and um, yeah, JP, do you want to entertain them while I pull the questions up? I should have had them up before we started. Shame on me, but you know what? I can't change the past. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Especially if the uh, the past, the present, and the future are all happening simultaneously. See, that would make such a great podcast. Earlier, JP and I were talking about time, as in you know, some people, or even if you even if you're not into like science, even in comic books, they you know, Doctor Manhattan has explained that time is not to him; it's not linear. It's kind of happening all around him, like you said, right? Everything's happening at once. Mm-hmm. It's just that's how we perceive it, as in that straight line. Yeah, man, it's, it's wild to think about. You know, wild yeah. to think about. You're doing a lot of a lot of weird stuff all at once. You know. Pooping and eating at the same time—that's that's pretty crazy. It's not very sanitary. No, it's not. Pooping and cooking at the same time? Yeah. That's definitely not sanitary. Yeah. You're, you're doing a lot of things while you're on the toilet. <laughs> but let's get into the questions. Okay. So what we're going to try to do to make up for not having a, a, a podcast, a, a mail call podcast last week is we'll try to go back to other videos we have posted where there are questions sure. and try to make sure that we get every single double one. Double dipping. So Honey Buster says, what if Michonne's baby isn't Rick's? Norman Reedus said that the ex- on them uh, is symbolic of a line that was crossed. Maybe after Rick's death, they got lonely and let it all out. But now they regret it. That is, you know what? I, I One, I think that would be a cool ad. I mean, it's been six years, right? Yeah. Um, and things like that happen. I mean, hell, Lori was banging his best friend after like a month. So I think that would be cool storytelling, but I don't think that they would do that. Yeah, man, that that really would make Rick the ultimate cuck, you know? Right. Just you that, love that word. I think I, that yeah, you've I now do. worked it into at least the last two or three podcasts. Yeah, really. Is there something that you need to tell us, JP? <laughs> Nothing you'd like to hear. I like to hear everything you say. Just some of it I don't think needs to be recorded. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> For your own safety yeah. and, and freedom. Uh, Agent X17, what is your favorite SpongeBob season and worse? I, don't, I, I like Spongebob, but I don't remember what seasons were which. Yeah, I hated that show. That, that, that was like the death of Nicktoons for me. Don't. Just don't. Saying, just don't. 
Nah, just don't. I don't mess with it. Just don't. Rain DeVos says, hey, guys, you've missed my question last week. I blame your Samsung Galaxy for that one. Man, you can blame my Samsung Galaxy for anything because it sucks. I'm going back to iPhone as soon as I can. Uh, I'm planning on going to the States for holidays. What do you guys think is a must-see in your opinion? I thought we talked about that. I, we, I can't remember. Maybe we didn't. I'm sorry. I thought we did. Uh, for one thing, go on a barbecue tour. Wherever I go, I, I pick out all the barbecue restaurants, and I try to hit all of them. Uh, standard tourism brochure stuff doesn't count. Thanks in advance, and have a great weekend. That's awesome that you're, uh, you're coming to the States. Um, I mean, I wish you – I mean, there's nothing really around us that's worth it. I mean, within a couple of hours' drive, I'd say we'd, 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 we'd love to meet you and welcome you to the States, but I don't know that you'd be anywhere near us. But um, – I mean, yeah, it, touristy stuff. I mean, D.C. is really cool to see. Now, what's cool about D.C. is if you go during the weekdays, mm-hmm. granted, parking's hard. Because on the weekends, you can actually use, like, government employee parking, yeah. like, right there in front of, like, all of the important buildings, except for, obviously, the White House. But you can just pull up in front of all of these buildings, and you can park pretty much wherever on the weekends. But during the weekdays, it's kind of a catch-22. There aren't near as many tourists but it's harder to find a parking space. But I would definitely say, even though it is a bit touristy, man, go see D.C. I mean, like, as far as seeing our country and our history, D.C. is got a little bit of everything, and weed's legal there now. So Yeah, yeah, like you said, traffic, it is a nightmare. But, uh, you know, yeah. just to maybe park a little bit outside of D.C., take the metro into town. There you go, yeah. My aunt lives in Dale City, which is like 20 minutes, I think, outside of D.C., Mm-hmm. And that's she. She was actually she worked at the Pentagon forever, and then she worked at the FCC, and now I think she's retired. But she was like she was at the Pentagon on nine eleven. Oh wow! Um, she was on a golf cart when when the plane hit uh, the Pentagon, or you know. And uh, but she actually was like she worked for Colin Powell for a while, and then, gosh, I forgot. She she seriously like used to freak me out because like. She's the sweetest lady, and she's fun-loving and stuff. Mm-hmm. But whenever we would ask her like what she did, she was always like, you know, I can't talk about that. And you'd be like, really? Are, are aliens real? And she would just like, not in her sweet, warming way. Like, she would kind of look at you like, shut the fuck up. So I don't know, man. I think she knows something. But, uh, but yeah, she lives in Dale City, and she just used to commute into D.C., like you said, via metro or different ways um, way to, to beat it. that traffic. Yeah. But, um but definitely go see D.C. Um, I don't know. A lot of the places I've been, go to Ocean Lakes in South Carolina. That is my favorite place on planet Earth. It's like this, it's half campground, half resort. They got like a little water park in there and these nice condos you can stay in and everybody rides golf carts. It's where it's where I want to spend eternity. <laughs> if my soul was to get trapped on this plane, I would hope it would be there. But um, I don't know. It's really hard to tell you places that aren't touristy because I feel like it'd be really hard for you to find them. You know what I mean? Like if I tell you some of my favorite spots, they're really specific. Hmm. Um, but I would I, get out and hit the trails. Like uh, I love hiking and camping. And then I think and JP's going with me at the end of next month. Um, you've got the Shenandoah Valley Trail is beautiful hiking. Um, the Blue Ridge Parkway, which goes between Virginia and North Carolina. Lots of beautiful sightseeing there. Um and not too touristy. There are some trails I've went on where, I, and it's some of they're not all hard. Some of them are very rough, but some of them are very flat and made for like families just to take a casual stroll. And uh, the sights are beautiful. And I've been on trails before and been the only one. Hmm. So yeah, you hit up the Blue Ridge Parkway, the Shenandoah Valley National Park, the George Washington National Park. Of course, I'm giving you mostly Virginia, North Carolina locations, but you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. Now I can tell you lots of cool places to go if we were including touristy spots, but when you get to the States range, just shoot us a message and we'll guide you from there. As best we can. As best we can. Yeah. I like Nashville. Nashville's cool. Nashville is very fun, but that's very touristy and crowded too, though. Yeah. It's cool if you can go again. A lot of times go to these touristy places during the week. Mm-hmm. Cause at Nashville, there's a show every night. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's feeling good. Yep, lots go, of good barbecue. Go to Tootsie's when you're there. A lot of famous country singers love to frequent that bar. And have you ever been to Tootsie's? Yeah, yeah, I went. It's really not like what you would think. I like. I mean, it's very nice, but it's not like in my mind. I just was imagining this big, grand place. I love that it's a very small town type bar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it hadn't changed in well, like a hundred years or something. Yeah, and it's nothing just to be sitting there and have a country music artist just roll in and sit down and order a drink. Yep. Uh, Jovi Gal, one of our uh, one of our return listeners, Jovi hung out with me on our um, red, I mean our uh, Far Cry uh, live stream. 
She says, Tig is my favorite character in a cast of favorites. Also, Chibs, good choices. And Opie, hey, we've got the same ones that we both like. Kurt Sutter is a master. How can I love a vicious killer so much? <laughs> Drew that. And Tiggs is, is is out there, man, but he's one of my favorites. Um, JP, you would totally, Jovi Gal, after listening to JP, back me up. JP would totally be Tiggs based on his personality and his desire to just have sex. What, what show are we talking about? Sons of Anarchy. Okay, okay. Um, she says, I feel like I say it all the time, but I love this channel. You guys are freaking hilarious. Keep up the good work, fellas. We love you, Jovi. Yeah. Thank you so much so for nice. the kind words. Jeep Jeep, another returning listener, says, episode 14 is supposed to be when we find out what the deal is, what happened between Alexandria and Hilltop, and what is up with the exes. Ooh. What if Daryl and Michonne were doing it like in front of all the communities, and that just caused friction? I mean, aside from the friction of their bodies. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope Rubbing together, but like, you know. <laughs> well, I'm joking, by the way. I forget some people take what we say so literally. Spoiler warning. We're very sarcastic. So episode 14, that's not what? That's like two episodes away? Yeah, we, we just got 12, through 13, 13, yeah. We just got through 11, right? Yeah, 12 yeah. is going to be yeah, this okay. Sunday. That's so about, yeah, we, about time. Uh, my favorite Sons of Anarchy character was also Chibs. There you go. I have 53 million acorns in my yard. Man, why did you count all of them? A lot them? of acorns. <laughs> Um, but I don't know if I could ever get hungry enough to eat them, even in a dire situation. You'd be surprised what you'd eat in a dire situation. So mail call. What is the most disgusting thing you would eat if you were starving? Anything that was edible, to be honest. I mean, you're talking about straight up survival here. You, you, you really, I think after you get to the starving point, you start putting things you find gross to the wayside and you just are looking for something to put in your stomach. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd eat acorns. I'd eat earthworms, bugs, Human ants. Flesh. And no, I, that would try to be my last resort. Yeah, but I mean, if need be, you know. I mean. um, ants are a great source of protein, and they're they're very plentiful. You know, you yeah. find uh, take a, take just make sure they're not like fire ants; they don't bite Ooh. your tongue. But you know, just take uh, take a stick, stick it down an ant hole, pull it up, and you got lots of ants, lots of the protein there. Didn't Baloo the bear do that in the Jungle Did he? Book? I love Jungle Book. I, can't I haven't remember. seen it in so long. You might be. It sounds right. I don't know. It sounds right. Monkeys do it. There's certain monkeys that. Um, which I know chimpanzees aren't. No, yeah, chimpanzees aren't technically monkeys, right? They're they're part of the great ape family, right? right? So I don't know if the the apes or monkeys that do it are apes or monkeys, but there is a primate that that does that sticks um, a stick down in the hole, pulls it out, and just eats the ants mm. like it's you know, yeah, kind of making you want some ants now, aren't we? Uh, yeah, man, <laughs> something on a stick. I love food on a stick. I do too. It's why I love the fair. Yeah, everything's on a stick. Yeah, deep fried uh, cheesecake on a stick. Which, if you haven't tried that, it'd blow your mind. Um, thank you for the question, Jeep Jeep. You know we love you. Pamela Ann says, I agree they're drawing this Michonne anger for ta for too damn long. We have to wait until episode 14. WTF. I agree. I want to know. Brian Akeem, do you think people will watch in season 12 where there'll be just Daryl, Carol, and Dog left? I'll be watching. Yeah. I mean, ride it out to the end. I'm, I'm loyal, man. When I'm on a show, I'm going to I mean, I, I don't think there are too many shows that I've gotten... A couple of seasons into and then just gave it up on, you know. Yeah, man, you invest that much time. I mean, you got to ride it out. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Did we? No, maybe not. Um, no, I guess not. I'll say I feel like we've answered some of these, but I don't, I don't, I don't think we have. Um, if so, I guess take two. Um, if you could recast any or all of The Walking Dead, who would play who? Not talking the ones who are gone now, just the current roles. If you could recast people as who? Um, Man, I'm going to tell that. you who I would recast as Michonne. Who? They really don't have anything similar, but I just, Angela Bassett, I just think she's awesome. Yeah. Man. Like she she's an American really Horror Story and 911. Like she's just a badass female. And I imagine it, you know, Michonne is a badass female. Denai Guerrero's awesome and everything i love her in black panther and the avengers movies and uh she played tupac's mama which was really cool uh -huh. but you have to have a badass you know person to take michonne's role and angela bassett i think would be that badass uh -huh. i don't know if i could see her with dreads because she never really had anything like that long yeah but i just love her as an act she's one of those actresses kind of like sarah paulson if she's in something i'll watch it even if it doesn't look like it's my cup of tea just because i'm a fan of her work and a good actor, of course, can make you love something you wouldn't normally like. So, for Michonne, Angela Bassett, um, how about you? What recasting would you do? Uh, I think uh, Jessica Alba would be Lori. 
just because I the the at, who who played Lori Sarah Wayne remember. Collins. Yeah, yeah, I can't see two guys like fighting to the death over her. I'm sorry, I just can't see it. <laughs> but Jessica Alba in a second, yeah. That was my like 2007, eight, nine, like just mega oh, crush man. man. Like I Dude, oh get man, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, she's who still is. She's a gorgeous girl. Yeah, but, man. I mean, just like, like I remember, what was that show she did for Fox? Yeah, Dark Angel or something. Yeah, like that? I that, forgot about that. Yeah, that was a good one. She did a lot of good stuff back in the day. What uh, what other recasting? Oh man, I don't know. Um, I would recast the governor as Danny Trejo, like Danny Trejo now though, because back in the day Danny Trejo was real be you know real not gonna say beast, but he was a lot more muscular. Now you know, remember what you you saw when he was in the last season of The Flash? Mm-hmm. He's gotten real skinny and kind of older looking, and the governor's a skinny guy, which Danny Trejo is still intimidating. But I would definitely recast the governor as Danny Trejo. And if you're like Danny Trejo, that's out in left field. Go look at the comics, and you'll see why I say Danny Trejo. I, I can see that. I can see that. I think I would make a Danny McBride as Rick. Danny McBride. I love Danny yeah. McBride, but I don't see him being Rick. Get out, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it would work, man. <laughs> He'd tell Negan, what does he say? Uh, Listen up, you beautiful bitch. I'm about to fuck you up with some truth. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe Danny McBride would be a better Negan. I think, well, I would recast John Hamm as Negan. Yeah. I think sure. John Hamm is the ultimate Negan. I, I think he's a great actor. He's a little bit more stout. I think I, just reading the comics to me, if I'm trying to put a face with Negan and acting ability and everything else, I could see it being John Hamm. That's my perfect Negan. Though Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I've come, he's really, I really, I like him as an actor and he's really grown on me as Negan, but Timothy Oliphant was one that they were considering. And man, he's such a good actor. I would love, we know he can play a bad guy. So, mm-hmm. but John Hamm as Negan, Angela Bassett as Michonne, Jessica Alba as Lori. Uh, let's think, Rick. Seriously, I, we, I, I won't settle for Danny McBride. Yeah. We can do better than that. Um, I think Matthew McConaughey could play, play a good Rick, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I you know, people kind of clown him sometimes, but I think he's a great actor. Oh man. yeah, man, out of this world. I would get him a little beefier though. You know, at one point he was a, and he well, he was never been like huge and buff, but he was you know real fit and and cut and everything, and he got really skinny for the Dallas Buyers Club, and it doesn't really look like he's gotten much of his weight back i would plump him up a little bit more not anything crazy because andrew lincoln's not a big guy but plump him up a little bit more and i would do matthew mcconaughey as rick hey i'll go with it uh let's see i really hate to think about recasting shane because john bernthal was just like he is shane yeah Yeah, i I can't think anyone who so we couldn't recast him um let's see and think of two or three one or two more at least before we go um God, if anybody's good at Photoshop, you should Photoshop these actors we're talking about into like these characters. That would be so awesome. Um, let's see who else to be recasted. Hmm. I mean, honestly, with Magna, they did a great job. Like reading the comic to the actress. I mean, that's in my book about perfect. Yeah, man. One thing The Walking Dead's more or less been been pretty consistent with is good casting. Tyrese, it wasn't so much that because I like the guy that played him. I just don't think that they wrote him right. And I still like Tyrese as a character, but I mean, just Tyrese from the comic was so much better than Tyrese. I mean, like not one of those oh, I read the comics, I'm pretentious and nitpicking ways. I mean, like read the comics. Tyrese's storyline was just way more oh, in yeah, depth. Man. You he know, was getting I mean, his joint cop like left and right. He was getting I mean, blowjobs. Yeah, he man, he murdered like, a teenage like boy, killing themselves over. Yeah, him, no know. shit. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, that dick was that good, man. Yeah, Tyrese dick. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, he was he was getting he was getting that butt a lot. Yeah, he was getting blowjobs from other people. He uh-huh. was killing a teenage boy. Um I mean, beat the sh- holy hell out of Rick, almost man. Like, almost Rick, killed man. Rick. Like, just Tyrese in the comic was such a good character. Uh, and then in the show, like I said, I used to know the actor's name, and I'm sorry, he's been gone for many seasons now, so I've forgotten it over time. But the actor that played him, I like the actor. I, I, I think he was a good, I just don't think he was written. Kind of like Andrea, but I don't not. he wasn't written nearly as badly as Andrea. It's just a far... It's just a big divergence from his comic. Yeah, he was such a gentle giant. Yep, but I mean, I did like him. I would like to have seen him last a little longer. Um, let's think of one more recast uh, possibility. Ooh. Oh, one or two. This is fun. I would love to actually. This would be a cool like whole podcast. Yeah. Like write down some candidates and we discuss why we think they would make the best that character. Um, let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Other characters that could be recast. Is there anybody you could think of you would recast? Um, oh, man, Carl this is one I'd really have to sit down with a pen Excuse and paper me. and think about. 
I'm gonna think of one more, and then we're gonna close. Carol, you could you could recast her with uh, the, 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 the Halloween lady, Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, okay, okay yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis is a badass. Yeah, she. Which is. I really like Melissa McBride that plays Carol. I mean, yeah, she's, she's kind great. of like cemented as Carol Jamie Lee for Curtis, me. But. Man. Loved her in the uh, the new Halloween. I mean, all the Halloweens, but the new Halloween. I haven't so seen it, it yet, really but I've good. heard it was really good. Yeah, I liked it. Liked it a lot. But yeah, let us know some of your recastings in the bottom. Like I said, we get enough feedback or enough interest that you guys would like to hear us sit here. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't mind actually taking a week and we just write down characters as we think of them and then just present it. If that's something you guys are interested in, if we get a couple of people say, I'd love to hear that podcast, we'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it, damn it. Yeah. Alex Jimenez says, new voice practice. Thanks, guys, for doing this and having fun. <laughs> Please, Rick, Please, Daryl, I need to get your prostate exam. You're already here. Cross that finish line. Okay, brother. I'll do this for you. Just don't make me shower. Dr. Negan steps up. Straps on glove. <laughs> do you want to do Negan? Who's ready to get probed? Oh, man. Let's hear man. your Negan impression. <laughs> Who's ready to get probed? That, that sounds That's pretty not, good. That, that was a terrible Negan voice, but, yeah. you know, Judith. Okay. How did Judith get thrown? Why, these two yeah, men are fingering each there? other's buttholes, yeah. and Judith is just standing it's taking, around. It's taking a really weird turn. <laughs> oh, thank you, as always, for commenting, Alex. Uh, Heather C. says, thanks for making the SoundCloud. I subbed. Heather, God bless you. But we just realized, like, within the last, what, 30 minutes, like, we yeah. haven't uploaded anything We're else. We're going to get SoundCloud. back on top of it, though. Don't worry. Today, there, will be, there should be two new podcasts up. Brianne McCann says, Happy Valentine's Day, Justin. I'd include JP, but since he's a punk and would sacrifice you to the walkers and calls women a bottom bitch, well, I cannot. JP, where on earth are you finding these women who willingly sleep with you? You know, you, you look in different places, you turn over some rocks, and uh, they're there. They're there, you know. Some are better than others. But. Uh, Brianne, I think that's an answer that I don't want either. Uh, JP can be quite the gentleman when he wants to be. Oh yeah, yeah. I put on many masks, <laughs> and I, you know, give Justin. Me here's my actual mail call for you. Who do you hope makes the pike this season and not feel bad about it? Take care, guys. I don't know. The writing this season has been so spot on. I feel like I'd feel bad. Henry put yeah, Henry's say, head on I a think pike. We, we both have the same answer on that. It's, yeah, it's got to be. Henry. You could put Henry's head on a pike, and I wouldn't feel too bad at all because he's actually caused a lot more problems yeah. than his little ass has been. Worth. Been there for a few days. Has learned jack shit about um, blacksmithing, which is the whole point of why he's there, and has done nothing but cause trouble for a neighboring community that he's not even really a part of. I'm telling you, talk about a bottom bitch. That'd definitely be Henry. <laughs> Um, other characters, I, you know, Alden, I wouldn't, Luke, I would, I feel like Luke's head's going to end up on a pike, but I don't want it to Alden maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, but I wouldn't feel too bad. I like the character. I think he's a good character, but I just, I don't know. I take that back. I might feel bad. I just feel like we hadn't got to know him enough to where it would be that you'd be like, oh man, I like that guy. But like, whereas Luke, you're like, oh man, he could have had so much to offer this mm -hmm. show. Um, Enid, I don't really, still don't really care much for yeah, Enid. I mean, yeah. she's gotten a little better, but I mean, you got to remember, just last season she was like trying to step up to Michonne and stuff. So I mean, you you go messing with our Michonne, it's gonna take us a few seasons yeah, before I we. Yeah, seen it. Um, I, it's Sadiq. I really don't care much for yeah, Sadiq, man. and it's probably not so much his fault as it is just they haven't really given us any time to get to know him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we've been around him, and he's just not – he's kind of like Henry. He's just not that likable of a so guy. preachy. I, I, I don't know. Right. I hate that. Like I said, yeah. I, I really can't do a good impression, but he he delivers a lot of his stuff the exact – almost whiny is the way I would yeah. describe it. Yeah, like, when man. he's talking to Rick about Carl, and he's talking to, like, Carl about it, he just kind of whines when he talks. And having a military dad whining is something I just am not – very comfortable yeah, you with. you can tell he was like a philosophy, like mine. He had like right. a minor in philosophy right. or something in college. I don't know. Uh, Earl Sutton's wife. Yeah, she's another one. I'm kind of liking Earl Sutton. I mean, we're actually getting to know, you know, this is a guy that struggled with alcoholism, was manipulated by... Uh, by um, Gregory. Gregory, I was about to say Douglas for some reason. Well, Manipulated by Gregory, uh, feels bad about what he's done. You know, shows that maybe you shouldn't execute everybody who does something wrong because he actually has turned a new leaf and seems to understand what his problems were and yada yada yada. Um, so not Earl, but his wife. I really wouldn't care if her head yeah. was on a pike. Um, 
Uh, nobody. I, I'm liking the new group, so I really can't say I'd be. I would not feel anything. I mean, I like them all. They've always yeah. act. They've again. I don't know if it's Angela King or what, but these new characters have really been kind of fleshed out for us. Like we get a feel. Each character we've had enough time with to to know and to to understand kind of how they tick and yada yada yada. So I'd feel bad if any of the new characters were killed off. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. I'm not, um. Uh, from yeah. the kingdom, um, I like pretty much everyone from the kingdom. So, I mean, I, I really, I mean, of course, King Ezekiel, Jerry's head goes on a spike. I'm going to lose my oh, schnit. Oh, God, dude. Don't, don't even mention it. I, I really just don't want Kari Payton to not be involved with The Walking Dead anymore. Like, you watch him on The Talking Dead, and he's mm-hmm. such a fun, funny guy. Like, yeah. he just seems like he would be an absolute blast to work with. And uh, I love King Ezekiel's character. I mean, my dad was always like, I don't get why he's talking like that. And I agree. It is kind of it was cool in the comics. But when you see it on screen, it just kind of is a little cringy. But with that said, he is so likable if you can just move past the old English speak in modern times, you know. Um, So I I, but even I believe I might be even a little bit more tore up. I actually had a cool theory. Was it? No, it was Brad and my friend Brad and I were talking about it. So here's a thought. Here's the thought. Brad said he saw an interview with with Jerry uh, where it wasn't anything spoiler. So this is tiny little spoilers, but nothing at all that's sure. going to ruin the show for you. This is this would be a spoiler JP would be okay with if that tells you anything. He does not like any kind of spoilers. No, nah, man. I like it fresh. Basically, the actor that plays Jerry was talking about how you're going to see Jerry now that he has kids and, and you know, a, a full-time woman. You're going to see him start to want to distance himself from, like, combat in these dangerous situations and so here's a thought what if jerry doesn't end up on the pike what ha- what if we all feel like king ezekiel's head's going to be on a pike uh what if jerry does do that in the next few episodes like this theater run just was a close call to for him he's got kids and he's like man i can't keep doing i got kids to come home too so king ezekiel tells him he understands you know he'll always be his close friend whatever and then when Jerry sees, because you know Jerry loves King Ezekiel, oh, yeah. he sees his 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 hero's head uh, on a spike. Yeah, It'll bring him back himself. and kind of break him. Yeah, that would be good story writing. Yeah, yeah let's see that. Stuff. Let's not see Jerry's head on a spike. But yeah, who would whose heads on spikes would you not be sad about? I would say Tara, but a couple of seasons ago, absolutely. But I kind of find myself liking Tara now. Yeah, man, I, I can deal with Tara. That is, you know, that's a that's a solid list. Yeah. Solid. Uh, and, uh, let's see. Happy Valentine's Day, Justin and JP. Happy belated Valentine's Day to you. I love The Walking Dead and love listening to your videos. You two crack me up. Thank you so much, Christine. You're so nice. And a guy named James says first. Good job, James. So let's go to this week's Walking Dead podcast and see if we have any questions. Oh, hey, that's us. Oh, yeah. You want to sing us a song while I pull it up, JP? Ah, you know, I only save that for karaoke night. You sing so good, though. Uh, let's see okay from eternal wreck mail call do you think alpha will infiltrate the fair as she did in the comics no yeah it won't be alpha no because in the preview we see uh this weird cowboy looking guy rolling up into what appears to be like the fair and our our boy jerry one of my favorites uh you know looks at him no is it jerry or is it luke i thought it was jerry jerry's kind of like Jerry or Luke one kind of looks at him really weird, like, you know, what what is this guy doing? I feel like Alpha is going to send someone in because they now all maybe. Well, I don't know the hill. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's going to be Alpha. I think she's going to send someone else in. But just prepare, man. I feel like that. I, from what I've read, they've said that that is going to be the most death and devastation you've ever seen in a Walking Dead episode. I mean, if you remember from the uh, comics too, it was quite a bit of death. You lost a lot of characters. Yeah. Like that, so prepare yourself. I'm thinking that's one we might need, like a little, a little therapy or something right, after right. before we podcast. Ooh, not ready, um, but I, I do think they'll be infiltrated. I'm just not 100 percent sure that it's Alpha. What do you think? No, man, it can't be Alpha. Not at this point. Let's see. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's see. Trying to see if there's any more questions here. Um, and don't forget if you if you if you comment a question on another video, make sure you put hashtag mail call. And on the mail call videos, not it's not a big deal because we just read through the comment section. But if you guys post hashtag mail call, which a lot of you do, but if you do that, it makes it so much easier for us to just be able to go straight to the questions and not have so much of this da 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 time. 
Um, like this. JP, take it away. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know, brother. I don't um, know. I think that's it for that one. Let's go to the random rambling Wednesdays and see if we've gotten any comments on those. I know that I wish we had time. I would I would sit down and put all of these in a question form. But again, man, we need interns or something. Yeah, we really do. Make our life easier. Just present us a list of questions. It's us again. Uh. All right, let's see. Um, JP, you got a lot, a lot, a lot of love in this one. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, you uh, you listen to the the yesterday's random ramblings. You love, you know. I thank everyone for all the support. Yeah, absolutely. And all this kind of stuff, and we go into a into detail more with the situation. So yeah, yeah. Just click on that uh, that random rambling uh, podcast we did yesterday. And- I believe that's it. If we missed your question, please leave it at the bottom of this video, or again hashtag mail call it and leave it in the bottom of another video. But stay tuned. Lots of fun stuff on the way. Monday you've got the Walking Dead episode review and discussion. Mm-hmm. Tuesday the first ever current events Tuesday, which that name sucks. We'll come up with something better. But right now it's just a working title. working title. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and that one's going to be super fun, man. I really think like I'm going to try and get that one out as early in the morning as I can on Tuesday because that's a good one to start your day with because we'll tell you, uh, you know, again, just whatever's been published that day, like new studies or dumb criminal stories or, you know, whatever. A celebrity got caught having sex with this celebrity. Yeah, which, I may have to brush up on my, my pop, pop culture. Yeah. Oh, man, it's 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 yeah, I'm constantly finding how out of touch I am with pop culture. Yeah. But make sure if you've made it this far to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you so much. Make sure to uh, follow us on our social medias. Mine are so easy to find. Instagram Periscope, which I've not used Periscope yet. I will soon. But Instagram Periscope and Snapchat for me. I'm Justin Lloyd. All lowercase. No apostrophe. Two L's in Lloyd. I'm Justin Lloyd. You can find me. I'm Justin Lloyd. Mm. Are you? Well, the, no, am I JP? Are weird, aren't they? Am I JP? These are getting weird. Is this an example of time being linear? Are we the same person, just from different points in life? It could be. It could be. Does that mean I lose my hair in the future? I, you know, I didn't want you to find out like this, but you know. Hey, but I do have lots of uh, random and strange sex, so I guess yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, so that. <laughs> um, but uh, in JP social media, uh, Snapchat. Uh, J underscore rad saw and uh, what's my uh, what's my periscope uh, at JP Slim at JP Slim yeah and just the letters JP glad somebody knows yeah man I'll be I'll be creeping on you yeah there you I'll be go. seeing your late night rants yeah, about yeah. getting a new job and shit yeah hey you know, <laughs> didn't want you to find out like that either but yeah here luckily we are. luckily I'm a cool boss so yeah I mean whatever. But yeah, so uh, we really, as always, we say it a lot, but we can't express how much we appreciate you listening. Uh, it's it, we, we just look forward to talking to you guys. And yeah, we feel like family. Absolutely. So leave, uh, it'd be cool too if we could come up with a name for uh, us and our listeners. You know, like you have people that's like, you know, deadheads. And if you can think of a cool name, like a listener name that we can refer to you guys as something other than you guys, please leave it in the comments section. We'd, we'd love to start doing that. Um, But yeah, so we will see you at the latest on Monday morning to review uh, episode 12 of The Walking Dead. I'm Justin. And I'm JP. And we are the Podcasting Dead. Yeah.